Where should you put your elastics on your point shoes? Let's talk. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, the owner here at Broche Ballet. We are a ballet school just for adults. If you're watching this video and you're not yet on point, but you would love to get on point, make sure you check out my Journey to Point program, which is designed to help adult ballet dancers get their very first pair of point shoes. The link is in the description box below. Today we're talking about how to place your elastics onto your point shoes. I already covered when to choose a single loop or a crisscross loop in my last video, so make sure you go check that out if you're not sure which way to put your elastics, and then come back here and we're gonna talk about how to pin and place your elastics and your ribbons onto your point shoes. All right, so you've got your point shoes. You know if you want single loop elastic or if you want crisscross elastic, but now you need to know where exactly to put these elastics on your shoes. I highly recommend you use safety pins versus straight pins because you'll want to try the shoe and take it on and off throughout this process. And safety pins will make sure you don't cut your ankles. I've got scissors, I've got my elastics, my point shoes, and my toe pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my toe pads on under my tights so that while I'm placing the elastics, I can easily try the shoes on and off. Throughout this process, as much of a pain as it is, I highly recommend that you put your point shoes on after every pinning to make sure that you like how it's fitting. It's much easier to go back and make changes now than it is after you've sewn the shoes. Let's get started with our single loop elastic. I'm gonna go ahead and take my elastic. Usually it comes in a uh, long strip and for this one, I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this elastic in half what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna give it a try and then we will adjust from there. So we're gonna take the elastic and we're gonna find the back seam of the point shoe. We're gonna, on the inside of the shoe, take the elastic down into the heel parallel with the back seam of the shoe. So let's start with one of the elastics. So I've just turned the shoe inside out so you can see what I've done. And I have the elastic right next to the inner seam of the point shoe. I have it sewn a little ways down so that it really will pull the heel up towards my foot. So now I'm gonna put the shoe on my foot so I can measure where I want these second safety pin to go to hold the elastic. So I'm gonna grab the shoe by the satin right above the box. I'm gonna line it up with my Toe, and I'm gonna pull it on to my foot as far as it'll go. Then I take my fingers around the heel and then I slip the heel up onto my foot. You can also grab the satin here and pull it up to finish that off. Now, we have the loop of the elastic. We're going to try to find how tight we want it to be. So I'm gonna pull it a little snug and I'm gonna take it around the back so I can kind of see how much elastic I wanna have left when I have it there. So let's say I want about that much elastic below the drawstring for how tight it feels. How tight I wanna be able to move my foot in a flex direction because when we're standing, it's gonna be here. I don't wanna feel like it's gonna cut off my circulation. But we're not gonna sew right away. So we're just gonna make a hypothesis, try it, and then we'll try it on and see how it goes. So now I have both safety pinned on. I'm gonna flip the shoe inside out so you can see what I've done. I have pinned both of them on parallel to the inner, to that back seam. And again, with a, a little bit of elastic down the side. So what I'm gonna do is put this back on my foot so I can check and make sure that it is in the right place for me. So I'm gonna take again the shoe. I'm gonna put my thumbs through the elastic. I'm gonna grab the satin. I'm gonna place my foot through the loop and pull it onto my foot. Then I'm gonna take the elastic, pull it up, fish my fingers down through the elastic into the heel and pull it onto my foot. Then I adjust that elastic. Now you want the single loop elastic to go up over the crease of your arch here and you want it to be on the back of your heel so it holds that shoe on. So what I'm gonna do now is actually put my other shoe on so that I can stand up and try out this elastic and see how it feels. So I'm holding on to my bar here, which you can't see out of the frame, but I definitely recommend you hang on to something while you try this. So we're going to take one foot, place it up and see how it feels. Now I feel like this elastic is a little bit too loose because I feel my heel pulling away from me. 
Also on flat, I feel like my heel is slipping down, so it might be just a little too loose. You can also see that when I stand flat, I'm not getting too much of a pinch in the elastic, so I think I can go a little bit tighter on that. Also, if I were to pick my foot up to demi point, that heel actually is gonna slip right off of my foot. So I think it's a little bit too loose and I'll repin it. So here I am standing, they feel much better on the heel. I don't feel like my heel is gonna come off as readily. Once I put the ribbons on, it'll be a little bit better, but it feels much more supportive and strong. I can tell it's still not too tight because I don't feel any too much pinching there in the front. And when I put my foot up on point, the elastic it goes nicely right across the part of my ankle where my ankle meets my shin. So when it comes to placing crisscross elastics, we're gonna start the same way we started with the single loop. We're going to take our elastics and we're going to pin them parallel to the back seam right here on the inside. So now I have two elastics, each of which are sewn onto the back of the shoe. So I'm gonna flip it inside out and show you where I put them. And again, this is all up to the shape of your foot and ankle, and I'll show you how you want it to fit so you can make changes to this orientation based on how it works for your feet. Now I'm gonna place the other side of the elastic. So you can see the length of the elastic needs to be able to go all the way up and over your arch into the other side of the point shoe. Where exactly it's going to go is a little bit different depending on your foot. So some dancers are gonna have it a little bit further down and some are gonna have it a little bit farther back. So you want the crisscross, the part that makes the actual cross, to be over the part of your ankle that's going to need the most support, which is where it connects. So right here is where you want that X to go. And so depending on the shape of your ankle and the height of your arch, in order to get that X right there, you may need to put the elastics somewhere a little different. I tend to put mine a little bit forward in front of the seam, but I do have a pretty high instep on my foot. A lot of dancers put it over here behind that seam on the point shoe if they have a little bit lower arch or want a little different placement of that support. This is something where you can pin it and try it and see how it feels and then repin it and try it and see how it feels. Just stretch the elastic on my foot I can see how long of a tail I want and then I can pin it in the shoe. So let me pin it and show you. So now I've safety pinned the crisscross elastic. I have it still on the back and then I have it right where I had placed with a little bit of a tail on the inside. So I'm gonna try this on my foot and show you how it fits. So I'm gonna take my thumbs through the elastic and grab this satin. You don't wanna pull them on by these elastics because they're just safety pinned on and they'll probably come off if you pull them on by the elastic. Then we pull the crisscross elastic up, take your fingers between the elastic and your foot and pull the heel up onto your shoe. Then readjust those elastics right over your arch. So we can see on flat, I can demi plie no problem. I don't feel like I'm going to lose circulation in my ankles at all. When I place my ankle up on point, that crisscross is nicely placed right over my ankle where it connects up to my shin. The only thing I wanna change about this is that this one is a little bit below this one, so it's having an uneven look. So I'm just gonna pull that one up a little bit. This one's also a little bit too loose. I can pull a lot. This one's a much better example of tightness. I might even go a little bit tighter on this one, but this one is definitely too loose. Now that's feeling and looking a lot better. It's still not so tight that I feel constricted here in my demi plie, but when I put my toe up on point, it has a lot less wiggle room in the elastic and I'm feeling a lot more supported. Now the last point to note, if you feel like your elastics are not sitting flat on your shoes, then you might adjust the angle that you have it pin onto your foot. So you may need it further back like this or more straight up and down. So you can also play with the angle that you attach the elastic to the shoe to make them sit more flat on your ankle. I've also just pinned it right behind that seam a little bit further up just to show you what that looks like as well. 
So now when I stand up, you can see the slightly different look of the elastics where the elastics are a little bit closer to my heel. So this puts the support a little more concentrated right here, as opposed to a little bit more spread out over the arch. So if you have a little bit lower profile of a foot, you might want it back here. You might try both ways and see where you feel the shoe is more snug. When we put it up on point, we can see that the crisscross is still right over my ankle, where my ankle meets my shin, which is really nice. Personally, for my preference, I like the elastic further down to really have the shoe come up and hug my arch, since my arch is a little bit further down here. But this is another placement you can use if you want a little more concentrated support around your heel. Last, the ribbons. So the ribbons usually come in, um, if you buy them from a dance store, they come in a length that can be cut into quarters and it'll be the perfect length. So what I'm gonna do is fold my ribbons in half and then I'm gonna take a little cut right where that little loop is and then I'm gonna fold them in half again and then I'm gonna cut them in half where that loop is. And now I have four ribbons, two for each shoe. Now, personally, I do burn the ends of my ribbons with a match or a lighter. Um, I've been called a barbarian. I guess these days people are using free check or other glue, um, but personally, I still stay old school and it's just the easiest thing to grab a lighter and burn the ends so that they don't fray. But do what you like, free check or burning. So now I have all of my ribbons prepared and I'm gonna show you how to place them on your shoes. I have taken the elastics off of one of my point shoes so I can more easily show you how to find where to place the ribbons. So to find where to place the ribbons, you again want the cross of the ribbons to go over your ankle where your ankle meets your shin. So to find this, typically we want to find the center of our arch. The simplest way to do this is to flip the shoe, the satin of the shoe open so that you can see underneath the arch of your foot. You wanna draw a line and try to find the highest part underneath your foot and find that to be where you're going to place your ribbons. So right here, if I fold the shoe back up, is where I would place my ribbons. It might be a little bit different for you, it might be a little higher, it might be a little bit lower, but that's where I'm gonna place my ribbons. So you want the shiny side of the ribbon visible to the outside of your foot if you're using satin ribbon. So what we're gonna do is place the ribbon where we found our arch to be. We're gonna take it on the inside of the shoe and place it right there. Now the angle that we have the ribbon pointed here is going to make a big difference in how nicely it sits on our foot. So what we're gonna do is just give it a try and then we'll try it on, tie it and see how it looks. So I've just pinned it to give it a try and uh, I've pinned it at a slight angle towards the back of the shoe. Now some dancers like it at a slight angle towards the front of the shoe. I'm going to try it on and show you how to know. On the inside of the shoe I have just a little bit of ribbon in here in order to have enough to sew down the shoe to really pull the fabric up to your foot. Now we're gonna put it on, tie it, and see how it goes. So there's many different ways to tie the shoes, but I'll take you through my way. First, cross the ribbons over the top of your ankle, switch hands, pull them snug, go underneath the shin or the calf. Then we're gonna again switch hands under there. Make sure it's not right on your Achilles. You want it above that part where your Achilles is free floating. You wanna wrap around again to the top, crisscross, switch fingers again, pulling snug and then around to the inside of the shoe. Now you'll notice that my foot is flexed while I'm doing this. That's because I'll be standing on flat and I need my ribbons to uh, not be too tight when I'm on flat. So this is actually a pretty um, long ribbon. I'm gonna tie it and then we'll cut it in a little bit. So we tie it. I like to do a half bow, but some people do a full, um, a second knot. I go one half bow. I fold the bow in half, then I make a little burrito out of it. I roll it up nice and flat, take my finger under here, and tuck those ribbons in. This is, having the ribbons tucked in is a big part of ballet etiquette, and you wanna always show up to class with your ribbons tucked in nicely under your ribbons. So let's stand up and see how this looks. So you wanna try demi-plie and see how the ribbons feel. You want to go straight and then you even want to try climbing up onto points to see how they're feeling. 
So if we're here up on point, you can see that the ribbon isn't quite even on both sides. This one is pretty far down and this one's a little higher up. So I'm actually gonna sew this one a little bit farther down to match. I think that they're in a good orientation, except this one. You can see actually gaps on my ankle. So I put it here so you can see how much difference the angle of your ribbons make. So you can see there's a little gap here and we don't want that. So I'm gonna try pinning it a little bit more, a little bit less towards the back of the shoe to hopefully have that lay a little bit cleaner when I'm here on flat. So now when I stand up, I take demi plie. I don't feel it's too tight anywhere around my ankles. When I demi plie from this angle, you can see that that gapping is much improved because I've changed the angle that the ribbon is sitting in relation to the shoe. When I put my foot up on point, you can see that that crisscross is a little bit more even and right over the center of my arch. I'm also gonna show you how it looks when you have your ribbon behind the seam or a little bit closer to your heel so you can see that for comparison. So when I sewed on the other side of the seam closer to the heel, I now have the ribbon oriented towards the front of the shoe with the angle. When I had the ribbon here, I had it more oriented back. So depending on where you place it, you're gonna have the ribbon facing a slightly different direction. When I stand up in first and I demi plie, you can see even from this angle that the gapping looks really nice. We're not getting the ribbon bunching up, so we're at a good angle there in relation to the shoe. Also, when I place my foot up on point, for me, this is a little bit higher than I would want, but for some dancers, this cross will be right over that ankle where the arch meets. Last little tip for you when placing ribbons with your crisscross elastics. Personally, I like the really clean look of lining the elastics up with the ribbons. Let me show you. So some dancers will place their ribbons separately from their elastics, but then you get a couple of different stripes of material and it really covers that ankle. So I like to actually take the elastics back off and then put the ribbon right along with the elastic. So I like to slip the ribbon between the elastic and the shoe, stack them up, and then put them right back in the shoe so that ribbon is actually hiding the elastic. So now I pin them both on together. And now we have the ribbons and elastics together. Now, if you like your ribbons placed closer to your heel, then you're most likely gonna need to put your ribbons between the two pieces of elastic. But if you like your ribbons a little farther down, then this method works great. I'll show you how it looks. So you can see now that that ribbon is right along the elastic and you only see one piece of elastic coming out here. I hope this was helpful. Let me know which style you picked down in the comments below. I would love to hear. Until next time, happy dancing.